Good evening. Uh, my name is Krasimir Kanev, uh, and I'm director at the Bulgarian Helsinki Committee, the biggest uh, human rights non-governmental organization in Bulgaria. For almost 30 years since our founding in 1992, we have been involved in the protection of human rights, uh, both in Bulgaria and in other countries. Uh, we have used all the means uh, which uh, non-governmental organization can have access to, public advocacy at the national and at international level, monitoring and reporting, uh, as well as legal assistance of victims. We have been very active in bringing what we call strategic cases uh, in the European Court of Human Rights. They are strategic because uh, they aim not only at seeking justice for the individual victim, but also uh, at changing the legislation, the jurisprudence, uh, the behavior of the authorities, uh, which are detrimental to human rights of vulnerable groups and individuals. Uh, and I think that we have been very successful at bringing such cases. Uh, one measure of uh, success is our share uh, in the number of uh, the judgments against Bulgaria, which uh, the European Court itself uh, and the Committee of Ministers uh, consider important and uh, strategic. At the level of the Committee of Ministers, these are usually the cases which are reviewed for their implementation in the framework of the enhanced procedure. If you look at the Bulgarian cases under this procedure, you will find that perhaps more than one half of them have been brought by our organization, those that are uh, against Bulgaria, of course. Uh, I don't think that uh, any other human rights uh, uh, organization in uh, Europe uh, can boast uh, such a success. But uh, we have been not very successful uh, in triggering the implementation of these judgments at the national level. Many of them are not implemented. Uh, uh, and therefore, the very aim for which uh, these judgments were brought uh, to the Strasbourg court uh, was uh, compromised. If you can't implement them, what's the point of bringing them? other than, of course, uh, to assist the concrete uh, victim. But this can be done by uh, an individual lawyer. Many judgments uh, of the court against Bulgaria, including those reviews under the procedure for enhanced supervision, are now under review for 10, 15 years, and some for more than 20 years. Uh, this, for example, is the case with uh, Belikova group uh, involving torture, ill treatment, excessive use of force, and firearm by uh, the police. Uh, the first judgment from this group was delivered uh, back in uh, the year 2000. And uh, since then, uh, it is under the enhanced procedure for implementation of both individual and general measures, along with the judgments which uh, followed, uh, which were delivered uh, later by the court. And despite, uh, the, the Committee of Ministers uh, interim resolutions, two of them uh, since then, uh, and many uh, recommendations, uh, uh, this group is still uh, not implemented. And what kind of a rule of law is this? Uh, 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 in a situation that lasts basically for more than 20 years, and can the European Union close its eyes uh, to such a situation? Uh, another group of cases which are lingering uh, under the enhanced procedure before the Committee of Ministers for more than 15 years now is the United Macedonian Organization Elinden Group. Uh, this concerns the refusal of the Bulgarian authorities to register association of uh, the Macedonian minority uh, because the authorities uh, do not want to recognize such a minority on the Bulgarian soil. We have now six such cases in this group involving uh, Article 11 violations and more than a dozen pending for adjudication before the court because the legal situation of the practice uh, have not changed. Many of these cases involve multiple refusals for registration. By now, the Macedonians of Bulgaria were refused in more than 30 attempts to register their associations. And this is, of course, a flagrant disregard of the European standards uh, 
standards, not only of the European Convention, but also uh, of the European Union. Bulgaria well, has uh, long delays in the execution of a number of other judgments uh, uh, under the enhanced procedure. Uh, the Colibri Group uh, under review for more than 12 years now. Uh, the Kehayov and Neshkov Group uh, uh, under review for more than 17 years now. The Ekimjiev Group uh, under review for more than 14 years uh, now, uh, as well as many others. And they involve serious issues torture, inhuman conditions of detention in the prisons, uh, secret surveillance by uh, security uh, forces, uh, arbitrary evictions of Roma from their only homes. Uh, uh, such prolonged delays uh, in the execution of key judgments of the European Court of Human Rights is entirely unacceptable from the standpoint of the rule of law for an EU member state. Uh, these judgments, uh, uh, as I said, indicate not only uh, discrepancies uh, with the standards of the convention, but also with the uh, European law. Uh, speaking from the rule of law perspective, I would uh, draw uh, attention particularly at those judgments uh, pending for execution for long periods of time, which do not need securing of material resources for their execution. We always have to assess uh, cases uh, from this point of uh, view. Take, for example, on the one hand, the Omo Ilinden group, the Macedonian Associations uh, group, and the Kehayov and Neshkov group, uh, involving improvement of material conditions uh, in the prisons, on the other hand. It is quite clear that uh, in the latter case, uh, some delay in the execution may be justified. Of course, 17 years is too much. Uh, but investment in uh, renovations and in building infrastructure takes time. But we have judgments whose uh, execution is solely a matter of political will. And this is the case with the uh, Omo Ilinden uh, group. Their non-execution is a matter of adherence to the 19th century nationalistic uh, discriminatory approaches, uh, a dreams, uh, of territorial expansions and uh, cultural conquests. Uh, and these uh, 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 approaches, uh, the modern day European uh, states uh, should not and cannot tolerate. From the point of view of the rule of law, such situations should be dealt with uh, as a matter of priority, despite the fact that uh, they may involve uh, relatively minor uh, violations, Article 11 uh, violations, compared, for example, uh, with torture uh, and ill treatment by the police. So these are uh, the uh, thoughts uh, I wanted to share with you uh, this evening. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, attention.